Hi, my name is Chuyến and welcome back to the series video for learning C# programming language by Example. Okay, so today I will go ahead to show you how to use the repeater to display the data on the website. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create a new web page. The name is repeater underscore example. Okay, so now I will use the repeater to display the some data which we already used in the day two and day one. You can find the repeater inside the data group. Repeater here. So you can join ID. In uh, a repeat, AT repeater it have a uh, three part. The first one is the hit the template. Next the item template and the footer template. So the hit the Templates and footer templates is display the um, display some um, fixed data or that means it uh, is display the table the table column name and the footer will display some uh, table uh, some 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 basic function or something like that and uh, in item templates will display some the data data we will have a loop okay okay so now I will open the SQL to see so for now we have a table person which contain three column here a three yes three column and for now I will display the data here into the repeater okay so now I have to create a table okay for so I can create table as a HTML code first after that I will copy the code inside the repeater Here we have one, two, three, four, four columns. We can also write the uh, statistics for this table. But in this detail, I didn't mention to the statistics here. Okay, so let's take a look to this table. So First thing is the table tag and the table column here will be fixed. 
so we will copy it into the header template the table tag and tag also fit copy to footer template and this one the, con the main body item template will be dynamic Yeah. So after you copy it, uh, the HTML code inside the repeater, so you cannot uh, modify the HTML code in the design mode. In order to modify it, you have to go back to the short code mode. Okay. So now come back. Uh, let's see the code behind. And I think we can review the code behind from the previous demo. So now I will open the grid view example. We we I will only show it in previous video. So now I can copy this one. So for more detail, you can uh, go back to see my video tutorial for day two and day three. Uh, we contain the uh, demo for grid view, basic and advanced. Okay, so now we can train the load data to grid view. We can using the refactor. Okay, so now you can delete uh, this one. So you can buy the data. Okay, so now come back to the HTML code. You have to write the code here to this like that. So this is the value. And enter the column name here. It should be ID. Okay, so now I will try to run the puppet.
Yeah. Okay, so now I will bike to the coast behind and try to explain for you. Uh, this one is a little new, so we can remove it. Okay, so I will try to explain for you. So first we have to, de uh, to declare some SQL SQL um, operation uh, of a component to uh, in order to store the command line and also store the data set and string connection to 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 make your application work with the uh, SQL data line. So we get the connection string for the SQL from the web config yeah. and we have to create a method name it the loading data to register to call the select query from the database and read it to display on the web page And uh, we have to put the loading data to register uh, methods inside the payload. So you have to check import byte first, and after that you have to load the data. Okay. So so now you can see. Uh, for now we are displaying the. Uh, data uh, inside the repeater at a um, table so that look like the same for grid view but the, the repeater have uh, one more different with the grid view is the repeat, uh, we can display the data inside um, the repeater for freestyle we know uh, uh you only able to display by at the data by table at a table but uh, with the repeater we can display it for many style okay so now i will try to show another example to display the data inside the repeater for you guys okay so now i will go ahead to create a html table For example, here we can ID oh, sorry. We train shampoo two. It's a table. I name. Okay. Right to ID, so we so now I will create another predictor. Item template. Copy sending from the above code.
Okay, so now we come back to the code behind and do the same thing. We can also buy the data for register two. Okay, so now let's run code again. Run the application again. Yeah. The example one is we display the data at a table. So the example two we display the data with three stars. Yeah. Check at the border. For that guy, and same thing for that guy. Run again. Okay. Okay, and uh, for now. So if you want to uh, format the date time for the data, you can go ahead to open the HTML code. Mm. For example, I will format the code here. It should be zero. Okay. Okay, it already changed the format this time here. And uh, normally, uh, the repeater uh, will be using uh, a lot when you use a ASP.NET. Uh, for implement a website, so please let me know when you, if you have any questions for editor, and please take notes. It is very uh, important when you study when you study uh, ASP internet and you wish to develop web web app. Okay, and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye and happy coding.